I'm using CorelDRAW 12. Um, I understand that it does work in CorelDRAW, I think it's 3X or X3, um, which would be the version 13 of it. Uh, I don't really know about that version. Um, I've had this program for a while, so I'm just using what I have. Um, first of all, I want to go ahead and open up a new, a new page. It really doesn't matter what size the page is. This will come up as an 8x10, that's the default. I'm not too concerned about the size here. Um, it really doesn't matter. The next thing I want to do is bring in the image that I want to trace over. So I will go to File. I will go and Import. Um, I found my file. It happens to be a GIF file, a GIF file. Um, I believe Corel, you can import quite a few different files in Corel. You can import a DXF file, um, a JPEG file, uh, a bitmap, a lot of different things. This one happened to be a, a GIF. As you can see, it came out huge, and I don't want to digitize it that big. Um, normally, I try to digitize the same size, or a roughly the size that I think I'm going to be using it um, to quilt out as. Since this is an 8 by 10 piece of paper, um, you know, that design probably would look best maybe about a 6 by, uh, I don't know, 6 by 4. Um, I'm not really too concerned about the size. I just wanted, I want an, an average, um, an average size. So as you can see, it's going larger and smaller. As I, what I'm doing is I'm scrolling the scroll, the scroll um, thing on my mouse. I'm not really sure what that's called. But as I scroll it, I can get it bigger and I can get it smaller. And that'll help out after when we're editing. The tool I like to use to uh, digitize in Corel with is called the freehand tool. And over here on our standard toolbar, these are all the tools. You know, AutoSketch has a, has a lot of different tools, and um, I think this is one of the reasons I like Corel, because it's, it's a little bit more simplified if you know what you're doing. And the freehand tool is right over here, and so I'm going to click it, click it on, and now I'm ready to trace over that. Let me go ahead and get it centered, get it to be about the size. It really doesn't matter the size that you're tracing over it. You don't want to have it too small, because then you'll end up doing a lot of editing. Um, so, uh, you know, that looks pretty good. It, it covers the screen. It's not too, too small. It's not too big. So I'm going to start down here, and I'm going to follow, attempt to follow this line. Now, as you can see, I am a terrible, I cannot do this with a mouse. It's really difficult for me to trace over a line with a mouse. Normally, I use a, um, a tablet with a pen. It's uh, a Wacom tablet. But a lot of you, especially if you're just starting out and you're just, you know, experimenting with this, don't know if you really want to be a digitizer or not, um, are going to use your mouse. And I just want to sh really go through here and show you how this works. Now, like I said, this is pretty pathetic. Bear with me. <laughs> this is awful. Um, I, I watched how some people trace designs on the how-to forum, and I'm just amazed at what they're doing with their mouse. I think some of them must have a lot of practice, but uh, let's see, whoops, clear my desk here, I've got, I'm bumping into stuff, and here again, you know, I'm showing this looking awful so that you guys will be encouraged when you first do it, because you'll, you'll think, hey, Linda's was really bad to begin with, but she cleaned it up, okay, and I'm just going to now, it's important about the pathing, you want to kind of get that figured out before you start. But I'm holding down, oh, by the way, I'm holding down my left mouse button. Um, I'm holding it down the whole time I'm doing this. If I let up, it'll, it'll stop it. Okay, now I'm going to let up. And look what it did. I mean, it was really bad to begin with. It's still pretty bad, but at least it has a little bit more hope than it did to begin with. This is fine. All I'm really trying to do is just get a rough trace around that um, that design that I want to do. Now I, I am pretty much done with, with that. I'm going to end this video now so that it doesn't get too long to download and we'll go to the editing part in a minute.